on the corner of Fayette and Salina Street, chants against the Dakota Access Pipeline rang out in near freezing temperatures. Despite these conditions, a day of action was still held to support Standing Rock. We're out here today because it's a national, it's a global day to stop that hope, to stop all investors who are putting their money into the banks that are supporting the Dakota Access Pipeline. You can't eat money, you can't drink money, and water is life, and it's about protecting the water, and oil and water don't mix. Central New Yorkers have been here in downtown Syracuse all afternoon to stand in solidarity with Standing Rock. Members of the community have been urging customers of big banks, including Chase Bank, to divest their funds to protest the Dakota Access Pipeline. J.P. Morgan and Chase declined to comment on the demonstration at the downtown Syracuse branch, but said in a statement sent to NCC News that the bank does not directly fund Dapple Construction. Protesters downtown still wanted to raise awareness for the Standing Rock Sioux, advocating for the safety of the Native American tribe. One Syracuse man flew out to the front lines to represent those affected by the pipeline project. My first morning at the legal tent at the main camp, was the military assault of October 27th. And watching that from a distance and seeing videos and pictures that people brought back to us and interviewing dozens of victims of that assault um, was an event that I'll always remember. Keith and various members of the Onondaga Nation will be returning to Standing Rock this weekend in anticipation of more military action. Those remaining in central New York have one message for their fellow supporters. I just gotta say no, uh -huh. thank you. In Syracuse, Jamie Weiss, NCC News.